Hello everybody and welcome to the Cuddle Toy Boss channel. I am Cuddle Toy Boss herself, also known as Victoria, and this is my channel and this is my next video. And this video is a super fun make your own video. Now it is not a make your own My Little Pony, but I do have two of My Little Ponies here to join me. I have a Generation 3 My Little Pony named Serendipity. She's got some four leaf clovers there. And I've got a Generation 4 My Little Pony called Lucky Dreams. Got a horseshoe there. And they're going to help us if you figured out what kind of the holiday video this is? That's right, it's a St. Patrick's Day video. And they're gonna help us make some St. Patrick's Day little characters, kind of like Shopkins. So Shopkins has done Easter repaints, and they've done Valentine's Day repaints, and Christmas repaints, but you know what they haven't done? They haven't actually produced a line of toys for each of the holidays. They've done repaints, but they haven't done a, oh look, we have little characters themed off of this holiday. I'm going to do that today. To make these things, you're gonna be needing air dry clay, no baking, dries hard, and you can paint it. You're gonna be needing some tools. Now these are professional grade um, clay tools, but you can use a toothpick and then a plastic like Play-Doh knife. Play-Doh tools would work just as well with these if you have any of those. A sponge of some kind, some paint brushes, paper plate, a cup of water, and some paints. So the paints I have here that I'm going to be using are Apple Barn White, Apple Barn New Shamrock Gloss, Apple Barn Kelly Green, Folk Art in Extreme Glitter Peridot, which is a green color. Folk Art in Metallic in Pure Gold. And some Folk Art Metallic Gunmetal Gray. You could also just use black, but I didn't have any on hand and I didn't think to pick any up. So we're going to use the Gunmetal Gray. Now, if you don't have an easy to clean wipe down surface, you are going to need to lay down some cardboard or something before you start messing with your clay. Please use a parent's help for this part. Make sure that your parents know what you're doing and all that. If you're one of my younger viewers, because I don't want you to make a mess and your parents to blame me or you. So it's just easier if you talk to your parents first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make is our shamrock. So I have my piece of clay right here. I am just going to just kind of smush this out into a circle. Now you want to keep your circle pretty thick because if it's too thin, then the Shopkin will not have a base or like it won't be sturdy. So I've got a nice sized little circle here. It's like a little round piece of dough. Now I'm just going to go in and make four incisions. in my circle here. Okay, so now we have our little flower or plus sign as it looks now. So now we're gonna go in again with our little tool here and we're just gonna make smaller incisions in each of the leaves because that's what these are. These are our four leaf clover leaves and Four leaf clovers have a little incision in each of the leaves. Just like that. Okay, now our little four leaf clover really just needs a base to help it stand up. So we're gonna give it a little stem. Can use a little chunk of my clay here. And I'm just gonna make a little square stem for this to sit on and spreading apart two of the leaves. Give me a little bit of a bigger incision.
And once again, taking my knife here, my little knife tool, my Play-Doh knife, whatever you have available. You're just going to smooth it out and make sure it's all connected. And now we're just going to take our sponge and have it slightly dampened and just go ahead and go over the whole thing so that it is nice and smooth. And if you see any flaws you want to address, you just go in and address that. Like here, this line is a little shallow. I'm going to go and make it a little bit deeper. Same to this one over here. And then make this a little bit more hay. This is a stem separate from the thing itself. And there you have your little shamrock or four-leaf clover. Now I'm going to set this aside and it's going to dry and once it's dry we will come back and go ahead and paint it. Okay our shamrock's all nice and dry now. Here's what the finished dry product looks like before we paint it. It looks super nice. Now the shamrock is a little bit bigger than your average Shopkin. I have Millie Mushroom here to show you the difference. So when standing, Shamrock's just a little bit taller, and the Shamrock's a little bit thicker. Well, now that our holiday kin is all dry, we're going to go ahead and paint it. So I have my paper plate here, Breathing. and my paint. For this one, for our Shamrock, we are going to be using new Shamrock, white, Extreme Glitter and Peridot, Gunmetal gray, gun gray, and then a color that I didn't, uh, I missed and forgot to talk about, Apple Barn Crimson. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our new shamrock and Apple Pretty. Barn gloss, shake it up, pour it out onto our plate, and then we're just going to coat the whole holiday kin, the whole shamrock, with this paint color. So because I'm going ahead and painting the whole Shopkin here. I'm not really worried about color distribution, so I'm going to take a wide flatter brush here and just go ahead and start coating the shamrock. I don't know if you noticed, but I did have to use a good bit on this one just because the clay does seem to soak up the paint really quickly and soak it up a lot. So you do have to use a good bit of paint on your paintbrush to make sure that your holiday kin or your shamrock is fully coated. And you want to make sure you use a thin flat brush like I did so you can get down in um, Okay, I haven't gotten the stem yet. That's just because I needed something to hold on to while I painted this. So we're going to set this aside and let this dry. And once it's dry, we'll come back and we'll paint the rest of it. All right, and now our shamrock is all dry. Now, I know it looks like it's probably still wet. But if that's because, if you'll remember correctly, 
our sh new shamrock color is a gloss color so it dries to a nice glossy finish so it will look still wet even though it's not so now we're just going to take some more of our new shamrock green and come down and cover the base including the bottom in this green color all right now that the stem is painted i'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side and let that dry and once it's dry we'll come back and do the next step okay our shamrocks all dry now or at least mostly dry which is good enough next we're going to take our glitter green here and we're gonna shake it up you need to shake up the glitters really well and then we're gonna squirt a little bit out on the plate and taking our big thick brush the same that we used to paint the shamrock with in the beginning we are going to cover starting with the stem the shamrock in glitter. Don't worry if you see a lighter color of green covering your shamrock, like you can see right here, that will dry clear. Okay, because this has to sit upside down to dry, I'm going to go ahead and stop there and set it aside. And once that part's dried, we will come back in and finish covering the rest of it with glitter. All right, our shamrock's dry again. So now we're just going to go in with our brush, with a wide brush, and coat the topper, top upper part of the shamrock with the glitter color so that no part of the shamrock is left unglitterized because everything's better with glitter. Do you guys agree? Do you think everything's better with glitter? If you think everything's better with glitter, comment in the comment section. Everything's better with glitter. I certainly think that everything is better with glitter. And in case you want to look at the bottom, you see the glitter did dry almost clear. It's like a greenish goldish glitter color. Okay, our shamrock's nice and covered with glitter everywhere. We're going to set it to the side, let this last coat of glitter dry, and then we'll go on to the final steps. We're almost done with our little shamrock, guys. All right, our shamrock is all dry now. So now we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to introduce the next color for our shamrock. We're almost done. Our next color is going to be the white. We're going to use this to make our shamrock eyeballs. Or in this case, eyeball. So using a medium to small brush, I'm going to go ahead and get the white. And I'm going to go around the middle of the shotgun right about middle of the holidaykin right about here and i am going Preview. to make a circle that's it that's it we're done just kidding we're not done or at least we're not completely done we're done with that part of the eyeball for now next we're going to take a nice small thin brush and where we're going to introduce the next color for our holiday kin, and that is the gunmetal gray. <music> Using our nice thin brush, we're going to get the gray on our brush, and we're going to make a little slit eye. Our little holiday kin is winking. So I don't know about y'all, but when I picture a Shamrock's expression is a little mischievous winking shamrock. 
So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our brush here and we're going to give it some eyelashes as well. Just so you can tell that it's winking and not missing an eye or something. Winking Shopkin. I know the white eye looks a little weird, but we'll get to that in a minute. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and give our cute little Shopkin here a mouth. Using a slightly bigger, but still small brush. And introducing our last color for our Holidaykin. Our Crimson here. and give our holiday kin a big old grin. Oh, look at that! Our holiday kin's almost finished! The last thing we need to do is we need to give it an eyeball in the white circle. So once again, taking my thin brush here and getting a little bit of that gunmetal gray, or black if you'd rather use black, I'm just gonna give it an eyeball. Right in the center of that white dot. We now have a finished St. Patrick's Day holiday kin, Shamrock. I think I'm going to call her Sally Shamrock. What do you think, Serendipity? Do you think our Shamrock looks as good as your cutie mark? I do indeed. She looks quite excellent. Thank you, Serendipity. Sally, give you a kiss. Mwah. Sally or Sharon Shamrock? Sharon would be a good one. Comment down below. Leave me a couple of names for our little Shamrock here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fun and helpful. And if you make any holiday kins or make your own Sharon, Sally, whatever, Shamrock, please leave, send me a picture. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. You can find all those links down below. Love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all later. <laughs> Bye.